how goes it? I'm Wills Maxwell Jr. and this is What Did We Miss? Here I tell you the stories that WWAY did not. They could have, but they have a strict only relevant stories policy. A New Jersey couple finally sold their home after years of receiving threatening letters from The Watcher. The Broadduses bought the home in 2014 for $1.3 million. A stalker claimed in a series of letters that it is their duty to watch the property. The watcher seemed to know several details about the family and made threats to their children, asking the, the couple where the quote unquote young blood will sleep. The only time young blood isn't a creepy phrase is when an older person is giving advice. The Broadduses hired an ex FBI profiler who said that it was someone nearby in their 50s or 60s. This is a suburb of New Jersey, so that didn't narrow it down at all. Without ever moving in, they did what everyone in a horror movie should do and sold the house for $400,000 less than what they bought it for. For more on this, we're joined by the realtor who sold the house, Emily Gomez. Emily, how goes it? It's going. Now, this house has been on the market for a while now. Do you have a problem selling haunted properties? Actually, I prefer it. Every other realtor backs off those listings, but I know it's the best way to get a family into a great neighborhood for a low price. So you don't think this real estate is haunted? Oh, it's haunted, all right. Haunted by a close proximity to great schools. Okay. Oh, it's haunted, all right. Haunted by great square footage. So you don't think that the- Wait, wait, I got one more. Oh, it's haunted, all right. Haunted by a great market. Okay. So you don't think that the watcher is real? Oh, he's real. His instructions on who to sell the house to were very specific. Wait, do you know who the watcher is? I've never seen him. I've only heard his voice. It's alluring. Excellent work, my brave young realtor, bringing to me my new blood. Watcher of all my co-conspirator, reveal to me your presence. Child, know that it delights me that I real estate in your mind. Now face front in your swivel chair, for I'm right behind. Watcher of Westfield here to help me sell mortgages. Some real this watcher, this watcher of Westfield, what's he doing here? He's eating up my airtime. I am the watcher of Westfield. Come to me, watcher of Westfield. I have to go. Folks, this is our final day with our news director, Kevin Wizardo. Uh, Kevin gave me the segment, so if you're wondering why you just saw a Phantom of the Opera parody on the news, it's Kevin's fault. Let him know how you feel at this definitely still active email address. Uh, Kevin, thank you for trusting me and giving me the room to do something weird each week. Good luck in Memphis. I'm Wills Maxwell, and that's what we missed. <laughs>